On Monday, May 7, 1928, when the doors of the magnificent Keith Albee were thrown open to the public's von vaudevillian most famous singer, Ray Samuels, known to the world over as the Blue Streak of Vaudeville, was the headliner who performed under the illusion of drifting clouds and twinkling lights. Good Morning Judge, a light-hearted comedy starring Reginald Denny, was the featured film. Four other splendid acts of first-class vaudeville followed Ms. Samuels. Nineteen ushers in dark red uniforms with gold buttons escorted patrons to their seats. The Keith has its own eight-piece orchestra conducted by Joseph Kronberger and a Wurlitzer organ played by H.B. Brown. The Hyman's brother, majority owners of the Greater Huntington Theater Corporation, had built the Keith Albee to greatly enhance their family of downtown theaters that then included the Huntington, the Euphorium, and the State. Understandably, this theater was eagerly awaited following its, its announced construction and was immediately recognized as an ornament to the city when completed. With its opening, a special Keith Albee section in the Huntington's Herald-Dispatch newspaper gushed over the dazzling new theater, calling it the temple of a temple of amusement. Now, nearly a century later, Mr. Lamb's only operating atmospheric theater is still very much a temple of amusement and very much an ornament to its city. The outside circular ticket booth was constructed of antique marble and bronze gild with two antique lanterns for decorations. The main lobby was floored with rubber matting panels with dividing strips of white Italian marble. The marble base is of imported Belgian black. Huntington's Keith Albee Theater opened in May 1928, approximately 18 months before the catastrophic stock market crash in late October of 1929. Although facing tough economic times, depression or not, people flocked to the Keith Albee. In the 1930s, vaudeville became, began a steady decline, and by the end of the decade, it was dead. In November of 1937, the depths of the Ohio River reached 69.45 feet. This caused the city to experience the worst flood in its history. Water flooded the streets of Huntington, and 4th Avenue was completely underwater. The effects of this was disastrous. On February 5, 2001, an early morning fire damaged the H.F. Kaufman Jewelry Repair Center in the downtown Huntington's Keith Albee Building. The theater suffered smoke damages, and shows resumed February the 9th 2001 in a smaller theater. The main auditorium reopened in May of 2001. Facing flooding, fire, changing times and taste of audience, economic trends, and different lifestyles, the Keith Albee has been threatened with becoming an endangered species over its lifetime. But the theater has stood the years varying its bills of fare, physical structure, and technology to meet the mood of the public, all the while retaining its original feeling of design. And today, the Keith Albee is more than just a performance stage for quality acts, culture and entertainment, and special community events. It is an important part of our heritage, 
an economic driver of the city of Huntington and a venue for understanding our past and envisioning a more equitable future for all.